and welcome to my Halloween series. I really hope you guys will enjoy this. I have 10 videos for you guys for the month of October celebrating Halloween because it's one of my favorite holidays and I have been slacking the past few years. So I'm going to kick my ass and do lots of tutorials for you guys. So yeah. And this is the first one. It is a collaboration with my friend Jenny. She will be doing the counterpart of this look. This is my interpretation of the Joker from Suicide Squad. You guys have been messaging me and commenting and being like, please do the Joker from Suicide Squad. So it will be the first Halloween tutorial that I do for the year 2016 and I hope you guys enjoy so yeah um, I could not find my green wig because gremlins um, and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy Jenny will be doing my lovely Harley Quinn so I will have her link below so you can check her out also click right here and you can check out her video she just started her YouTube channel and she's awesome and so go subscribe because I said so and I really hope you guys will enjoy my Halloween series and let's get on with the tutorial so I'm starting off with a completely bare face and I'm going to be using a glue stick to conceal what little bit of brows I do have um, if you don't have brows then you are good to go um, but for me I have little nubs that need to be concealed so I'm just taking a glue stick and going over the hairs so now that my brows are dry I'm gonna add the elf Coreless face primer. You can use any primer that you have. And I'm going to put it pretty much everywhere. I'm going to kind of stay away from the brows because I don't want to mess up the glue area. Joker and the Suicide Squad. He has a pretty pale complexion. So I'm going to be doing a mix of things. I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Glamouflage in Porcelain along with a bit of Manic Panic Dream Tone. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Glamouflage from Hard Candy. This is the Ultra Light um, to cover my brows because they still there I'm going to set just the eyebrow part with um, some translucent powder I'm going to use um, Immortal Veil from Corpse Cosmetics and I'm going to pack it on. I'm going to use the Ohuhu brush, oval brushes, to pack it on. These brushes are so great for packing on powder. Oh my goodness. Do another round of thick concealer. And then one more round of powder and they're pretty much gone. Now that the brows are covered, I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use Asphyxia powder from Corpse Cosmetics. And it is a blue toned face powder 
like a bluish gray and I'm going to set my entire face with it and I'm going to use one of the bigger brushes and it gives you that kind of dead look and it also adds extra coverage so yes just so I did one eye off camera just to save time I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow primer and just use some Urban Decay and just apply that all over my lid the majority of the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are from Kat Von D's uh, Vita, uh, Mi Vita Loca Remix palette but you can use any colors that you have um, that are similar so you don't have to use this um, I'm going to take a mix of Rewind, which is like a burgundy color, and Echo, which is a, it looks blue, but it's a purple, and a little bit of Vox, and go around my eye. I basically want to trace where my, the hole of my eye socket would be. Um... So yeah. <laughs> a super fluffy brush I'm taking um, noble and skulls which are two really light shades skulls is like a white color and noble is like a tan shade and I'm going to kind of go around the entire look to add shade and shadow and just make it look more sunken in Now I'm going to line the top lash line. I'm just going to do a little wing, nothing too dramatic because we already got a lot going on on the face. And for the lower lash line and waterline, I'm going to be using an Inglot gel liner and this is in um, 79 which is the blood red. And I'm going to put this on my waterline and my lower lash line. So now I'm going to add the little expressions and kind of scuffs that he has on his face. I'm going to use echo again and a little mix of anthem which is a more red toned purple So I'm going to add the iconic J under his eye. Well, I guess it's not really iconic, but his little signature J. For lips, he's kind of got like little dark blood red lips with like a darker inside. So I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in Madrid. And I'm going to add a darker color on the inner part. Add the 
Here's my juice. And that completes my Joker Halloween tutorial. Um, I added a really kind of Hugh hefner -y kind of shirt. And I know I don't have the teeth, but I'm going to be adding tin foil. Um, but I can't talk with it in my mouth. I tried. <laughs> um, it's really hard. Um, I would suggest using tooth paint. Um, just because it's so hard to talk with aluminum foil in your mouth. Unless you, like, get a grill or something. If they still make those, I don't know. They probably do. You get a grill. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna use aluminum foil for photos, so, yeah. I kind of slicked my hair back, tried to make it look gross and greasy. I don't know. <laughs> I could not, for the life of me, find my green wig, so I'm highly disappointed. And I want to know who took my green wig. <laughs> Um, but yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out Jenny's video, which will be linked below. She will be my beautiful Harley Quinn. So, check her out. Subscribe to her channel as well. And stick around for more Halloween tutorials because I have a lot of tutorials coming your way. And I'm super excited. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!